I'm going to just start off by telling you that they wanted me to tell you that they go upstairs and they use a jammer to slow down my um my internet. This is my only internet. So before when they were doing it, they were actually doing it to the DSL. It wasn't just a cell phone, but now they're doing it to this. So I would be online trying to do something and it would take forever. So they were, again, they're very upset when I say I would be and, and different things like that. So they couldn't understand the difference between me having an accent and speaking like someone from the Bronx. So they said when I worked at, it would have been 9X, then it became Bell Atlantic, then it became Verizon. So while I was there, it changed over from the 9X to um, Bell Atlantic and then Verizon. They said I used to try to sound more white. No, I didn't. I used to try to get rid of my accent because when you're working on the phone with different people who aren't familiar with a, a New York accent, just like I've been giving you examples of how they would say, I would say, instead of pumpkin, pumpkin, it sounds like pumpkin instead of pumpkin. Or it would sound like I was saying, instead of bump, bumpkin to you. So in my Bronx accent with I have a Bronx accent, a West Indian accent, which sounds a little British because my family background's from Antigua. And then I have um, a New York way of speaking. So on top of everything, they don't understand the difference between an accent and the way we, a New York way of speaking. So it's not just the New York accent. So if I'm talking really fast to you and I'm like, I'm going to you, it might not sound like bump, it might sound bunk, not bump. And that's something, even if you search it on the internet, you see that. So the New York accent on top of my accent plus the way we say things. So it's different between speaking like a New Yorker and the accent. So they said, oh, that's just covering up a change in words. No, it isn't. If you look it up, it's there. It's online. I mean, I'm not making, I didn't invent a New York accent. I also didn't invent a West Indian accent. I also didn't invent speaking like someone from the Bronx. This is something that. If you listen to other people from the Bronx, we sound similar. So it's not about sounding white or black or this group or that group. It's about taking that accent away enough so that anyone can understand me. So that's the point. So before when you, if I say like, I'm, I'm trying to think of more examples. By the way, I put the convector on, which is the heat. And so you'll hear that sound, but then you'll hear them also. But that's the other sound you'll hear. So you hear that? Or when I rub my legs, you'll hear this. It's different from their technology. And people already know they are always worried about things. That's what they said they were raised with. So they're now worried that I'm lying. I'm not lying. Everyone knows that. But that's not to make me worried that I'm lying. It's to make me feel like. I have to prove myself. I don't have to. So anyway, going back to what I'm saying. So if I'm like, oh, bunk into somebody, doesn't that, doesn't that sound like bunk? It does. That's my point. Like all of these things that we say in New York isn't a big deal amongst New Yorkers. It's always a big deal to people who aren't native Bronx people or native New Yorkers. And every example that I'm giving you for the most part fits that. These aren't native New Yorkers. I've been saying fast quickly bunk into you bunk it bunk for years so they use an example when I was in college I was in college I was in college so I've been saying it for years that way nobody even cared about it so they said well didn't someone in high school say I wasn't pronouncing her name the right way that happens to everyone I tell people that all the time that doesn't mean that the person has a problem speaking and that's my point there seems to be something with these people after the fact that they want to twist and distort the truth the truth is always going to be true you don't have to twist it you don't have to distort it so every example that I'm telling you are people who aren't native New Yorkers native Bronx speakers so Eric he's not a native New Yorker the guy from college he's not a native New Yorker um, the people at who I would talk to on the phone, who they had a problem with my accent. It's even harder with a New York accent, West Indian accent, speaking like someone from the Bronx. To to speak on a, in a professional environment to get rid of that accent, it's easier for people to understand you on the phone. 
And that's the problem with these folks. They're not understanding. Everything doesn't have to do with race. And they said, well, that was what they thought. They thought everything had to do with race. Yeah, I'm putting my this through my hair so it can stop sliding. They said um, they thought everything had to do with race. That's my point. They're racist. And, oh, they're going to cut me off, but I should have another video up that will give me some space. Anyway, so I think you guys understand that. I would have to spend years explaining this to them. It's not just that they don't understand. They don't want to understand. And I'm going to title this video, They Don't Want to Understand. But you guys get it. I don't have to go into that anymore. And I've watched different shows where I hear people speak and they're from the Bronx. And I'm like, oh, that person's from the Bronx. Or definitely that person's a New Yorker. And that's my point. You know, they wanted they, they, they wanted to use this technology to replace them speaking for me, but they couldn't get that new authentic native New York speaking.